Welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so I supposed to record this video like a month ago, but I got like really lazy and I decided not to do it. I don't know why, but I decided not to do it and I took my time and yeah. So I've already made a bunch of videos, so this is kind of weird because like now this is my first video that I have to upload and it's by myself too, which is a little bit weirder. But this is a QA. I asked you guys on Twitter and my spam on Instagram for questions and whoever had the most liked comment would be on my video. Sadly, I didn't use any of the ones on Twitter. I only used the one on Instagram because I was too lazy to pick 10 and 10. I'm weird. So I only picked all the 20 from Instagram. Yeah. Why does I feel like, can this like turn out? I feel like it's like not focused. Okay, I'm gonna go find the questions because I don't know where they are in my spam. So give me like a minute. And we're back. I found the questions. I actually wrote them down. I'm in my porch. It's f***ing hot as f out here. I'm sweating and everyone can see me just like have a camera set up. So it's like mad awkward. First question comes from Dana's Premium. She asked, what's one thing you regret from 2019? Um, one thing that I regret from 2019. Oh, all right. We started TikTok in 2019. If you know our first video, you're an OG. Lollipop. So I started TikTok that day because it kind of blew up and then Mateen and them wanted me to make one. Well, no, I didn't actually make one on that day, but like that's when everything started and we all started making shit. I started really late compared to all my other friends, you know, in the long run, I finally made one. They begged me. I guess it'd be being more productive because like I'm also lazy as f so I guess being more productive and actually starting TikTok early. All right, question two, it comes from Isabella underscore Grace. She says, how do you feel about people shipping you with Mattia? Don't gas it. If you know what that means, it means like don't over exaggerate it. And then boom, we'll be like, it's whatever. You know, it is what it is. But like when you like do too much, then you kind of get annoyed. I don't know, we don't really say anything because we don't like care that much to like talk about it. It's not something that we need to make a whole big deal about anyways. Me and him are both straight. We're not homosexual, but we're really close. We're close friends, you know. All right, question three comes from Leslie Spams. She asks if there's anyone I have my eyes on. No, I don't have my eyes on anyone. I want to be single right now because like, why the hell would I want to be in a relationship? Like, fuck that shit, fuck relationships. Even though everyone that lives near me has, is in a relationship, except my group. But yeah, fuck relationships, that's just bullshit. Period. Even though if I was like with someone, I'm not telling you guys sh Question four comes from Alisa with two E's. She asks, explain all the past girls you've talked to. Um, I've been with how many girls? I've been with five girls, right? You guys only know two of them, so I'm just gonna say the two because I don't want to invade the other three's privacy. The first one was Emily, Emily Nickel, or as you know, Xanax Barbie. I don't really know, there's nothing really to say. Basically, shit just didn't go well, I guess. I don't want to really touch on it, it's so whatever. I don't really care, you know, we're still mutuals, like we're acquaintances, no beef. Next girl is Celia, Celia Broad. I was with her for a little bit. Shit went down as well. I don't really want to go into it because it's not like something I want to talk about. <laughs> um, we had our moments where we didn't like each other, but right now we're mutuals, acquaintances. You know, I don't have any problems with her. Yeah, don't spread hate, love. Positivity. Question five comes from Samantha X Barrios. Barrios? I don't fucking know. Sorry if I butchered it. She asks, did any of your close friends, once you got big, change? Out of my close group of friends, no. I guess the only ones that, only one that's changed is Alvaro because he lives in Florida. You know, he thinks he's big, but he's my bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I love Alvaro. You know what? No, we're Sean. That kid is always sick for some reason, has some reason why he can't hang out. Yeah, actually, like, no, I think we're all the same. Even if, like, one of us do do some stupid shit where, like, we, like, kind of, like, like, show off a different type of mentality, I guess, or image, kind of keep ourselves in check. 
fuck, keep each other in check. What the fuck? Question six comes from Kyrie.ae. What's one good thing and one bad thing of having a following? One good thing is like you guys and like the amount of support you guys give us. Well, give me especially. Because like you guys push me to do content. Like you guys try to keep me consistent. Say if like I want to try something new, you guys are there. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Thank you, thank you. Anyways, um, one bad thing. I guess like just more privacy. Like obviously um, it's hard. Why is there a whole Amazon Prime fucking... Is it for me? No. I guess just having a little bit more privacy with my family. Like, especially when I'm out sometimes with my family. They want to, like, go out to eat. Like, sometimes, like, there's fans there. So, like, I'll have to take pictures of you guys. Which, like, don't get me wrong. I love doing, taking pictures with you guys. And since you guys are the ones that made me who I am today. You know what I should do? I should, like, wear, like, a cat, like, a hat, a fucking hoodie, glasses, and then, like, put, like, stilts under my shoes so I look really fucking tall. And then, like, no one would know who I am. Like, I'd just be gone. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. 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 That'd be smart, Loki. Question 7 from Asian.edits. Would you ever date a fan? No. Don't get me wrong, like, I don't know, I was watching Matias, but Tia has like the same point as me. I think we all have the same points when it came to this question, because we've answered this like twice already. Because like, I don't want to meet someone like where like, you already know who I am. It's like weird, like I don't know you and you already know me. It's like kind of awkward. I want to like fall in love with someone that like I don't know at all, and we kind of just meet first time, and then, you know, we hang out a lot, become close, and then, boom. Yes, yes sir. sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. That's what I want to happen, because that'd be fucking crazy. A fucking bomb ass love story. Imagine that happening. Jesus. Question eight comes from Racy Lay XOXO. What's something you would tell your younger self? Be more productive. You're lazy as fuck. You don't do shit, Kai. And on top of that, when you get told to do something, you still don't do it. I was supposed to record this YouTube video like a month ago. I and my dad told me like three times to do it. And I never done it till now. So that, and then on top of that, don't be scared to be insecure. Don't be insecure over your looks and stuff because at the end of the day, you can't really change it unless you want to waste a lot of money on fucking plastic surgery. But I doubt I'll do that. So don't worry about how you look. You know, it doesn't really matter. There's people that are literally just like you. And then I guess just be more positive and look at things more positively. Positively? Is that a word? Yeah, positively, right? Look at more things positively than negatively. Dude, that's not a word. I'm making up words. Look at things more positive than negative. Question, I think we're on nine. Why do you want to change your style? This is from Gay for Kyrie. I don't want to change my whole style. I just want to add some flavor to it, you know? Just add more to it. It's like I'm making a soup. No, noodles. Noodles, noodles. To add more fashion sense. So I don't look ugly all the time. That's the chicken. New hobbies. That's the carrots. What else do I put in chicken noodle soup? Why would I put onions? In? Can you get out the f video? Question 11 comes from Alyssa underscore maps. She asks, how long have you been playing soccer? I've been playing soccer since I was like really young. My dad actually played soccer when he was in high school, even like middle school. So it kind of like ran in the family type of thing. Question 11, what are you going to do after TikTok? This comes from Matias Ford. After TikTok, I'm going to start posting more in here. It's not going to be like a whenever, wherever, whenever the time is just to fucking post. It'll be like more of like a schedule, like once a week, two, twice a week type thing. And then I'll probably post more on Instagram and Snapchat. So I'll be more active. And then probably like Twitter, like how I usually use Twitter. I'm probably gonna go to college. If not, I'm gonna do online courses. Depends on how this does. But at the, in the long run, I do wanna go to college. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And also everything that's going on in the world, a lot of shit's going down. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Love you all. Hopefully you guys are doing okay. Be safe for the coronavirus if you're protesting. Question 12 this is from Cairo. How do you feel about your fan pages getting deleted? Obviously, this is like really old. So during the question, I just got verified. And when I got verified, a lot of my fan accounts were getting deleted. It was a little bit of Instagram, but mostly it was because these people signed to report my whole fandom, so they got deleted. But anyways, I'm glad they're safe now. At the time, it was really stressful because like I was trying to help you guys as much as possible to um, not get deleted. But I tried to get you guys to switch usernames, you know, put your fan account in my bio. I don't know, just so much shit was happening. It was like a little bit stressful. I tried my best. So I'm glad majority of the people are fine. Question 13. This is from Horny for Kyrie. Um, yeah, a lot of weird shit. What's the first thing you notice in a person? Obviously, like for like physical appearance, I've noticed your eyes, your mouth, like lips and 
and probably freckles. And then for like personality wise, I notice if like I can act a certain way around you. Like if I have to act like in a certain way around you, like all like preppy and shit and not be normal, then I cannot fuck with you. Cause then like, what the fuck? It's so boring for me. Question 14. Are you happy about everything that is going so far? If not, what's one thing you would change? This is from Sasha.Gorlick. I'm actually really happy how everything's going. She's becoming a little kid that has like a little bit of following, which is pretty crazy. So thank you for that. But um, I wouldn't change anything. I love doing this. This is so much fun. Question 15. I'm sweating. Gracie Light XOXO. What's your thoughts on TikTok room? Wait, is it TikTok room or cancel culture? Cancel culture. I don't really believe in cancel culture because like you can't really cancel someone if you keep bringing them up, even if I'm um, getting notices for being negative. In order to make cancel culture work is if you ignore the person, especially their content, because then eventually they'll just die out. Everyone's gonna die out eventually. So if you want it to happen quicker, just ignore the person, they'll die faster. Question 16 is from Kyrie's Films. Who's your favorite out of the group? Um, I don't really have a favorite out of the group. We're all boys at the end of the day. I love them. I love my boys, they're really cool. Question 17. How'd you feel when you first started blowing up? When I first started blowing up, I remember like it was yesterday. I licked the lollipop. I was at 700 followers, and then next thing you know, I hit like 10K. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was really cool. It was epic. Epic gamer moment. Question 18. Thoughts on TikTok room? TikTok room is okay. I, I think they just like sometimes post shit on accident when like they don't know the whole story yet. And then the comments are brutal. You'll be on there for like donating to like charity. And then all the comments are like, but you did this, but you did that. Question 19, favorite memory with the boys? I'd have to say, Garden State Plaza. That was our first event. Dude, we got mobbed. There's like a thousand people there. Last question <laughs> from Angelo Coiro. What's your middle name? <laughs> Samuel. Is it actually? Samuel. Samuel. Is it actually Samuel? Yeah, Kyrie Samuel Constantino. <laughs> Alright, that's it for my YouTube video. Thank you for watching. Love you. Like my video. You mean a lot. Subscribe if you want this type of content or you like it. Comment on my video, please. <laughs> Share it, please. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out.